morning. I'd like to welcome everybody out. If you're visiting, we'd especially like to make sure you feel welcome. Amen. What a good song, God of the Mountain, still, still God in the, the valley, still God on the mountain. Amen. We heard a song last night I hadn't heard in a long time, uh, talked about God being, uh, He's all I need, and blessed me last night and it blessed me again this morning. I've been thinking that no matter what we're going through in this life, good or bad, He's really all we need, whether it's uh, sickness or health or financial, whatever it is, He's all we need. Um, I believe we've got Macy lined up to sing for us this morning. She, she'll come on. We'll go ahead and do that now. Just continues to go right along with what we've been talking about this morning. All my life, he's been faithful. Great, beautiful, just beautiful. Anybody else have a, a song or a testimony? Yes. So good to be saved. I can't get that out of my mind this morning. I'm so thankful that the Lord reached down somebody like me that's so undeserving and saved my soul. I just, so good to be a Christian. 
Any other testimonies or songs this morning? Yes, let's remember her. Any other testimonies? I don't know how it sounds from back there, but boy, from up here, it sounds really sweet.
I believe the Lord takes great pleasure in hearing from His children. My son wrote me a Father's Day card and thanked me for things down through the years. I'd never in a million years expected him to write the things he wrote and the things he had thought of. And I remember thinking, boy, as good as this makes me feel, I can't imagine what the Lord would feel like when we thank Him for things that He's done for us. Is there any other testimonies? Let's remember Melissa and Addison. Hold them up in prayer. Any other testimonies? All right, I'm going
All right, Kevin, we'll turn it over to you. Amen. Amen. That word means, Lord, let it be so. Thank God for his presence. I was reading this week about Solomon. When he got everything finished in the temple, he, he dedicated it to the Lord, and the cloud filled the house. And... The presence of the Lord filled the house so much that the ministers couldn't even minister because the cloud was so thick. The same cloud that delivered the children of Israel that led them to the promised land. A cloud by day and a fire by night. The glory of God just filled the temple. And I'm thankful we can still get in on the glory of God. Man, the veil has been rent. We've got access We've got access to the throne, and I'm thankful for the presence of the Lord that we can feel. Go ahead. As I was sitting there, uh, all that I've studied on, it'll keep, but... Uh, the scripture of Psalms 103, as I was hearing the, the testimonies and folks just bragging on the Lord, uh, He inhabits the praise of His people, He really does, and it blesses the Lord, and uh, that's the way you and I can give back to Him. There's no amount of money in this world that could ever repay the Lord for what He's done for us. But thanking Him and giving Him thanks for all that He has done, that's all He asks. Man, the psalmist David said this, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. That's what he's done for us. Amen. We're redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, ain't we? Who crowneth thee with thy loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things. Amen. He's good, ain't he? So that thy youth is renewed like eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous to mercy in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins. What about that? He's not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Now listen. I quote this a lot. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. As for man his days are as grass as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear Him, and His righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep His covenant, to, the, to those that remember His commandments to do them. 
The Lord hath prepared His throne in the heavens, and His kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye His angels, that excel in strength, that do His commandments, hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Bless ye the Lord, all ye hosts, ye ministers of His that do His pleasure. Bless the Lord, all His works in all places of His dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. I say amen to the Word of God today. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. There's a lot of I can't do, but there's something I can do. And that's something we all can do is bless the name of the Lord. His name has been profaned. His name has been put down and mocked. But God's people, the Bible says, uh, I, I, I ever man that hath breath, praise ye the Lord. We can praise the Lord. Man, I was thinking uh, it very, it very uh, easy it is to think about all of our problems and think about what all's going wrong in our life. But we, when we count our blessings, we'll find that our blessings outweigh all the bad that's going on in our life. Amen. I've done it this morning. I was sitting there thinking of all the, the, the prayer requests. And, and, and not only the prayer requests, but, but the, the testimonies that people were thanking the Lord. And it, I tell you, it made me feel ashamed. It seems like a lot lately. I've thought about what all was going wrong and, and instead of more that was going right and what God had already done. Hey, it's good, to, and I mention this a lot, it's good to stop and push rewind and think about what God has done throughout your life. But especially, just look about lately what God has done. How far God has brought you and I. Man, I couldn't help but think... Uh, it wasn't just a month ago I was having to sit in a chair, but I couldn't stand the whole service, but I can now. Amen. Yeah, I'm not always there, and, and things I'm still dealing with things. And, and I, I caught myself murmuring yesterday about things that could be better and, and, and things that I'm still struggling with. But look what God has always, already done in my life. Amen. I feel like testifying. Amen. I don't always have a good frame of mind, just like we all sometimes. You may add, sometimes we, we, we focus on the negative more than the positive. But God has just shook me this morning. Look what I've already done for you. Man. So when we get to blessing the Lord and thinking of all of His benefits and all the, the present things that we're facing, we all got problems Ain't a one of us here that don't have a problem. You have a, you have a need, you have an issue that you're dealing with. The best thing you can do is praise the Lord. You say, I don't make sense. It don't, but it's healthy. When Job lost everything that he had, what did he do? He blessed the Lord. He praised the Lord. He gave God thanks. He lifted his voice into the Lord and gave thanks unto the Lord. And you say, well, that, how can you thank the Lord when everything's going wrong? Bless the Lord. I'm thankful that I've got him in the valley as we sing there. Can you imagine? I can't even imagine how life would be without the Lord in the valley. Right in the storms. You think about how hard it is right now, maybe what you're going through and maybe things you're facing and, and, and just imagine dealing with that without the Lord. The decisions, Mary Beth was talking about wisdom that you need from the Lord. Decision making. Imagine trying to make those decisions without the Lord. Imagine trying to deal with, with, with that sickness that you're dealing with. I mean, I've never seen like, I, I, I've seen a time when our church is faced with just divers, various sicknesses. Just imagine trying to deal with that without the Lord. Imagine trying to live life without the Lord. 
Without the hope that we have. The Bible tells us if we had hope in this life only in Christ Jesus, we'd be of all men most miserable. If this was as good as it gets, it would be miserable. But knowing there's a better day, knowing this too shall pass. This too shall pass. It ain't always going to be this way. You know, I think, think about all the, 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 these people that, that, that uh, you know, you, you have a spouse and married 40, 50, 60 years and just, and, and, and that spouse, the Lord takes them on and you think, is life even worth living? But thank God for the grace that God gives us in this life. Without God, life wouldn't be worth living. Without the Lord, it wouldn't be worth living, would it? That's what keeps you going, ain't it? You widows and, and, and widowers that's lost your loved ones and lost your spouse, your helpmate. You, I mean, it's, it's a lonely life, but how do you deal with it? You deal with it with a, by the help of God and by the grace of God. Man, all the, 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 the things that, that you're going through and that you've been through, what keeps you going? It's the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Trusting Him when it don't make sense. Trusting Him when it hurts. Being faithful to Him when you don't feel like it. When this old flesh wants to throw in the towel, you know better. There's nothing to turn back to. There's nothing greater that can help you than the Lord. I know you know this, but I believe the Lord just reminding us. That He's God, and beside Him there is none other. And there's none other greater than He is. He's altogether lovely. There's none other that can give you peace like the Lord can give you. You can buy things, you can have materialistic things, and it brings a little contentment. But nothing satisfies the longing soul like the Lord does. You can have everything the world has to offer and not be satisfied. You can have, you can be like Lazarus and not have a dime to your name. Not even in in, in desire crumbs for the rich man's table. But have Jesus and have everything you need. He's all we need. Just like he said. He's all I need. I don't need silver. Don't need gold. Don't need the things of this old world to satisfy my soul. But I need Jesus and all that he can give. Because he's my salvation. He's my master and He's my everything. He's my all in all. Amen. Amen. He's my everything. He's he's all I need. When that day come, when I cross that river, when my life here is done and I fought the battle, victory's been won, He's all I need. Because when you get to that point in your life, when you leave here, that's all that will matter. It won't matter all that you've worked for in this life and obtained, all the the degrees and all the the, the fame uh, and all that you've done in this world. All that's going to matter is what you've done for Jesus. If you've accepted Him as your Lord and Savior and the life that you've lived for Him is what you're going to give back to Him. That's all that's going to... Everything else is going to be... Burned up, right? The wood, hay, and stubble. There's a lot of things that we pay attention to in this life that doesn't matter. I mean, Solomon saw that, didn't he? All is vain and vexation of the Spirit. I believe a lot of times with our life and our attitudes and, 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 and the things in our perspective of life is vexing the Spirit of God. It's quenching the Spirit of God. My life ain't about me, but it's about Him. My Christian life is not about me always being blessed and and being under the spout and 
always getting what I want and always getting what I need. And we're, and, and even though the blessings of God, He's promised us that He'd bless us with all that we need. And, 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 and for us to seek the, uh, first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things should be added to us. But that's not what our Christian life is about. Our Christian life is about God getting glory out of everything. In our life. Everything. The good times and the bad times. Being instant in season and out of season. Praising Him on the mountain. And praising Him in the valley. Praising Him in the storm. That's hard sometimes. But it's what's needful. And I believe that's what's being done today. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Now that's all I'm... I'm that's all the Lord's laid on my heart. If there's anybody else that's got a word of praise today that, that God's just reminded you, even though the, the current events that's taken place, but are they praise on your lips? Man, anybody else? Amen. I want to say again about the prayer that we prayed. We've prayed for a couple weeks for the Lord to work it out that Miss Robin Ramsey would have a a donor for her her bone marrow transplant. And God answered that prayer this week. Man, even though maybe there weren't a match in the family and, 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 uh, you know, that... uh, that was troublesome, no doubt. But God knew. God knew the match. And God brought him to the match. And I'm so thankful. I mean, when you go to God, you go to one that is all seeing, all knowing, all sufficient. I mean, you go to certain people and they can help you in certain things. But then there's some, some things they don't specialize in, they can't help you with, right? I mean, when you go to a, uh, you, you may go to a mechanic, uh, but uh, uh, he might not be an electrician. You might need electric, uh, you know, he's what, that, that's out of my league or whatever. But you go to God and He is everything. He is the great I Am. And God worked that out. And I want to give praise and glory to God for that. God's got this. Amen. And I'm glad of that. Amen. Give God the praise. Other prayers that we've been praying. Uh, Brother Gary Phillips has had a better week this week. He's definitely not out of the woods, but he's had a better week this week. He, he looked good there the other day when I saw him. And, 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 and that's an answer to prayer. Let's keep praying for him. And others in our church that, 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 that God's uh, 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 pulling through. And I'm thankful of that. Thank the Lord. Anybody else? Anything on your heart, give him praise. Amen. 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 He's worthy, ain't he?
anybody else? Amen. We're Amen. Amen. Good to have you. Good to have all of you that are visiting with us today. Several I see back there and back here. We appreciate y'all being with us. And I, I pray the Lord's already made you feel welcome. There's, there's no greater welcome than the Spirit of God, the presence of God. If you don't feel at home in the presence of God, then I can't help you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, that's as good as it gets. When you feel... When, when, the, when God's your Father, amen, and His presence is wherever you're at, you'll, you'll be at home. Man, my dad always said, uh, don't, don't make yourself at home, just be at home. Man, you don't have to make yourself at home when you're in your Father's house. Man, when I go to Mom and Daddy's, I don't have to ask, can I open the refrigerator? They would look at me funny if I asked that. Can I open your refrigerator and get something out? Because I, that's still home, right? Well, when, when our Father, He wants us to, to enjoy ourselves in His house. Amen? And be at home in the Father's house. Amen. Been good to be here today. Amen. Our hearts, minds clear. Anybody got anything on you? Yes. <laughs> 